Episode 11 of Wasteland Weapon S6. This episode is about the Anti-Material Rifle. The Anti-Material Rifle was first introduced into the Fallout universe with Fallout New Vegas. And at the time of making this video, it has only reappeared in Fallout 4 through the Creation Club. The AMR is a long-range, large-caliber rifle meant to be used against armored or entrenched enemies. The rifle is chambered in the 50 BMG round that was first designed during World War I for anti-aircraft use. Even though it was meant to be used in a heavy machine gun, Winchester experimented with chambering a rifle in the round as early as 1918. By the start of World War II, nearly every major country had some form of anti-tank rifle. As most tanks designed during the interwar years could be penetrated by an anti-tank rifle. However, by the end of the war and into the Cold War, anti-tank rifles were obsolete against most tanks, and were now relegated to other targets like lightly armored APCs, helicopters, stationary aircraft, and fortified positions, turning the anti-tank rifle into the anti-material rifle. This brings us to the anti-material rifle featured in the Fallout universe. I'm first going to talk about the Fallout New Vegas version. Since this version is firmly canon compared to the Fallout 4 version, which is in a type of canon limbo. The anti-material rifle we find in the Mojave Wasteland and surrounding areas is like any other anti-material rifle. Large caliber of 50 BMG, meant for anti-armor and anti-personnel use. Due to the prevalence of the rifle in the Mojave and the surrounding area, I'm going to go ahead and say this rifle was adopted by some branch of the military. They are found all over the Mojave and into the Divide. In the Divide, we can see marked men wielding this rifle. They can also be found in the pre-war high-tech gun cases that litter the area. The Divide is a stretch of land in the western portion of the United States that had a few small towns, and most notably a large ICBM missile complex. The military had a large presence in the area, even using the town of Hopeville as a testing site for a weather control device. The AMR has a couple of modifications available, carbon fiber parts that reduce the weight, a custom bolt that increases the rate of fire, and a suppressor that suppresses the sound. Post-war, these can be seen being used by multiple factions. The NCR veteran rangers famously make heavy use of these rifles. The rifle can also be seen being used by Legion Centurions during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. They are most likely equipped with these rifles to deal with the NCR Heavy Troopers that are stationed at Hoover Dam. The NCR Heavy Troopers are issued sets of salvage power armor. While not as effective as actual power armor, these suits are still more than enough for any legionnaire to deal with. Brotherhood Knight Tories can sometimes have one of these for sale, though the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood is never seen actually using the rifle. Lesser factions like the Tribal White Legs can also sometimes be seen wielding one of these. Now onto the version of the rifle that is found in the eastern portion of the United States, specifically the Commonwealth, Boston area. This version of the rifle, as mentioned earlier, is in a type of cannon limbo. That is because it is a Creation Club item. We don't know if the Creation Club is canon or not. Bethesda has never said it is or it isn't. I go by the rule of the Timverse, where on screen means canon. Another reason I go with the Creation Club is canon is the fact that content from the Fallout 4 Creation Club has appeared in Fallout 76. Some examples of this are the Pip-Boy paint jobs, the camo paints for the power armor, and the most notable piece, the Captain Cosmos power armor. The Captain Cosmos power armor will be a reward in the first season pass for Fallout 76. The Fallout 4 version of the anti-material rifle seems to be a mirrored version of the rifle. The bolt is on the left side of the receiver instead of the right. This version of the rifle also has more types of modifications. Different barrel lengths, barrel styles, different stock types, and even different sights, like iron sights and many different types of scopes, where it even has a blackened version of those scopes. The most interesting addition to the rifle is that you are now able to change the caliber. While the standard caliber is still 50 BMG, you can rechamber the rifle in a 38 caliber round. I'm not really sure what this 38 caliber round is meant to represent, as it wouldn't make sense for it to be chambered in the 38 pistol round. So maybe it's supposed to be the 375 Cheyenne Tactical. As that is the closest round I could find to 38 caliber and still be a rifle round. 
So while in the western portion of the United States, the anti-material rifle is relatively common, the eastern portion, it is rare. Very few, if any, of the factions can be seen using this rifle, and can only be purchased from three vendors in the game. Why there are so few of these weapons in the eastern portion is up for speculation. It could be cost, availability, gun laws, any number of reasons. The rifle is also not found in the Pit, the Capital Wasteland, the Appalachian Wasteland, the Midwest Wasteland, Point Lookout, or the non-canon Texas Wasteland. At least not at the time of making this video, it's not. There could be a chance Bethesda will add it into Fallout 76 in a future expansion. Since they have added the New Vegas style riot armor to the game as well as other weapons featured in older Fallouts, like the Plasma Caster, Gauze Minigun, and Gauze Pistol. At the time of making this video, there are two unique versions of the anti-material rifle. Both of these are from the Fallout 4 Creation Club. Despite these two rifles being unique, they don't have unique names. However, they do have unique models. The first is acquired from Daisy and Good Neighbor. It does more damage to animals and the rifle is rusty and heavily worn. It has the phrase Big Monster Killing Machine and several kill notches uh, etched into the receiver. Why Daisy has this rifle is unknown. The other unique model is acquired from the Creation Club questline, the Paper Mirror. This is a very strange questline as it involves a magical book that can predict the future or maybe change reality. Not really sure how it works. But the rifle acquired from this questline is very unique, as it is a heavily engraved version of the antimaterial rifle, with a floral design on the receiver and the words New California Republic written right below the ejection port. We learned from the Paper Mirror's pages that the raider Connor stole this rifle from the Gunners. This does bring up a lore question. How did the Gunners get a rifle that belonged to a faction that is over 2,700 miles away? Did the NCR at this time expand significantly eastward? Or are the Gunners able to operate throughout the North American wasteland? Now we do know the Gunners have access to vertebrates and are able to supply their forces with power armor, mostly just T-45, but power armor nonetheless. So if they are able to operate through the wastelands, did they come into conflict with the NCR and kill an NCR ranger, then proceed to bring his rifle all the way to Boston, only to have it stolen by a common raider? Or did the NCR ranger make it eastward all the way to Boston and then join the gunners bringing his or her rifle with them? Or the least likely and probably most boring reason, uh, the magic book caused a anti-material rifle belonging to the NCR to spawn in a random gunner's camp for this random raider to steal. How this rifle really got from the Mojave Wasteland to the Commonwealth will remain a mystery, as I doubt Bethesda will ever reference this questline in an official capacity. This NCR rifle has the effect of penetrating, allowing it to ignore 30% of any target's armor. So this ends the lore portion of this video, and usually I go over how the weapon works before this. But I felt since this rifle is just a large bolt action, I really don't have to go into the detail of how it works, as there isn't anything really special about it. So for the real life inspiration of the anti-material rifle, unlike other guns in the Fallout universe that are usually just combinations of multiple guns from real life, this is just the French PGM Hecate 2 or Hakate. Hecate or Hakate, however you say it, is an ancient Greek goddess, so I'm not really sure on the pronunciation. The reason this rifle was included in Fallout New Vegas, and I quote from Joss Sawyer himself, I based the anti-material rifle on the Hecate 2 because, honestly, I was slash am sick of seeing the Barrett in games and I think the Hecate 2 looks better. So there's no real reason for this particular gun to be in the Fallout universe other than Josh was sick of the Barrett. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to this channel as well as my main channel, Trooper Fofo.